no we often come across uh, finding the difference between type a and type b gastritis so how to remember each and every small details so uh, what i would be here telling you is an evolutionary approach uh, it's a bit deeper but it will remain with you uh, for a longer time see uh, just think of a era where type a gastritis would have been discovered see type a has been dis- uh, type a would have been discovered earlier because some scientists would have seen okay this form of uh, gastritis is being seen so let's name it type a but some years late some years later when the technological advances occur then they see the stomach and they then they name it okay fine it is type b but for us it it happens to us that those are occurring simultaneously and some randomly they have been naming but it is not so if you look deeper then one can uh, rec- one can remember so uh, what happens for type a gastritis now type a gastritis is occurring where is occurring in the fundus and the body see when the uh, when the uh, discovery would have been made regarding type a gastritis then the scientist would have been av- f- uh, first co- come to the uh, gastric part and the sorry fundic part and then the cardia so but they have not reached till here so Uh, whatever their area of interest is their area of interest is uh, this whole thing this whole area is their area of interest so now what they saw they saw that uh, it is having a chlorhydria that is there is no acid production and then they would have seen that okay fine in this type of person Uh, when we see the blood then there is in that there is increased gastrin secretion so here uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, type a anti parietal antibodies are sensitive because uh, all the here cells would be targeted here and then the anti intrinsic factor antibodies it is specific because they are um, predominantly here in the fundus part so uh, cytokines is are not involved uh, therefore uh, and in type b cytokines involved which i will later come and then what are the tumors that you are having long term sequelae here we are having uh, uh, it, what will happen if there are antibody against it it will atrophy so it will be having uh, atrophy anti intrinsic factor would precipitate pernicious adenocarcinoma can occur in this area because there is hypergastrinemia and then there is gastric carcinoma tumors so here now uh, what in histology histology you would see what lymphocytes plasma cells and macrophages recall your first year Uh, have you been able to see the intra epithelial neutrophils or sub epithelial plasma cells it is not possible we, uh, in type a we are uh, working with primitive uh, technology so here we predominantly find lymphocyte plasma cells and macrophages we are not able to localize it or pinpoint it now what are the uh, association neuroendocrine c if something is getting atrophied here and then there is uh, increased gastrin production and uh, obviously in gastrin there are some neurons involved and also in carcinoid tumors it is associated with gastric carcinoid tumors so neuroendocrine hyperplasia can occur and autoimmune disease like thyroid it is grave disease because it is uh, here H- associated with hla dr3 B eight, so DR three is basically for what diabetes mellitus we see, so we can associate five type A. Now, for type B when we come, uh, we see that it uh, first of all it is happening in poor, so one can uh, assume that uh, 
our society does not uh, intentionally look for diseases of the poor because they are not uh, providing them money because they are not monetarily rich more focus on is given on uh, diseases occurring in rich so uh, on this the later research would have been done now now the uh, scientists are able to go to the distal part this antrum part so here what we have either here we had type b gastritis now scientists have moved from uh, proximal part to the distal part so and what do found that it is basically antral predominant and see now the technology is there see uh, many would have seen this kind of association h pylori but no one would had drawn the definite conclusion that yeah it is definitely related with increased acid production therefore it would have not been researched in type a we are getting a different uh, definite association so therefore we can say that there is hypergastrinemia in each and every case but now uh, type b uh, scientists would have found but they would not have been able to prove that uh, okay fine in this case uh, they brought the case of h pylori infection or type b and uh, they are proving to the group of scientists that uh, fine uh, in, in this acid production is occurring but some other scientists would have come and shown see uh, acid production is uh, normal here and the uh, uh, vice versa so therefore the, uh, to uh, collect data regarding it we required advanced te technology that we have to prove that acid production may be normal or may be increased or gastrin production may be normal may be increased so therefore type b is association is like this now they are no hla association here fine serology now serology since it is act, uh, acting on h pylori the antibodies to h pylori would be present and cytokine see here inflammation is occurring whenever there is bacterial infection there would be inflammation so il1 il8 now there are two kind of uh, long term sequelae first if if there is atrophy of the whole gastritis when there is atrophy of the whole gast gastritis then we have adenocarcinoma but when there is non atrophic pancreatic gastritis that is inflammation is uh, is there but there is no such atrophy so we call it maltoma see when there is atrophy and then when there is gastric inflammation so what will happen here more of the uh, body uh, is sometimes sending increased gastrin so body would be always be stimulated to produce gastrin but the gland, glands would not be have been working, working. so here therefore long term sequelae you can remember that uh, maltoma and adenocarcinoma now we are having advanced histology or biopsy techniques so we can prove that fine this this is intra epithelial neutrophil this is sub epithelial plasma cell now uh, hyperplastic inflammatory polyps are associated and low social poverty residence in rural areas as we had discussed it earlier